Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Miss Nina weekly video show and the Miss Nina online play school demo day two. Welcome. I'm so happy to see you. I'm Miss Nina from MyMissNina.com. We will find entertainment and education for young children and families. I'm so happy to hear, have you here. If you joined us yesterday, happy to have you back. If you're here and you're like, what is this Miss Nina online play school? Well, it is a five week online early childhood program, early childhood education. And what we do is we explore early childhood themes and concepts through daily videos of, um, and we explore it through art projects, through story time, through sensory activities, through music and movement, and through snack recipes. So this demo week, I'm giving you a small taste of what a full week schedule of the Miss Nina Online Play School would be like. Um, so yesterday, uh, oh, I don't know if I told you, we're doing our winter theme, and our concepts we're exploring are in and out. So yesterday, online together, we made some pet paper bag puppets. Right? Remember these? You might have made some. And because we put our hand in and out, right, to use puppets. And then we can, of course, make them talk. And you might have made any old kind of puppet, or you might have made a winter puppet, like a snowman or something. And of course, if you did do those, uh, made those puppets, or you can still go back and watch that video, I would love to see what you made. If you can take a picture and then um, post it over on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash mymissnina. I would love to see your work. So today is story time. And the story that I'm going to read to you today is the Mitten by Jan Brett. Now, just a note, when we do live streams, the book, the words are usually backwards because of the orientation of the camera. But the pictures are still great for the kids, right? <laughs> so, however, during online play school, it's filmed, it's not live, and I filmed the videos ahead of time, and so the orientation of the books are um, is the correct way. In online play school, every Tuesday you get a video of me reading five books related to the theme and concept that we're exploring. Today we're just gonna do one, one book um, about that, that um, touches upon winter, obviously, and the concepts of in and out. So are you ready? I've got the board book version here of the mitten. There's also, of course, the regular size, and as you might know, regular size versions have tend to have more words and more of the story in them, and the board book is a little bit shorter, but uh, that's usually great also for some of our younger ones to uh, be able to grasp the story and still um, get the enjoyment before losing interest, right? I did have, I do have the bigger one somewhere, but I'll find it because this happens to be one of Piper's, my daughter's, favorite books. So we're going to read this book together, and afterwards I'm also going to tell you about a really fun way that you can um, do the story at home or in a classroom. Sound good? All right, if you are ready for me to read The Mitten by Jan Brett, please touch your ears and wiggle them like this so I can see. Okay, yes, we have ready friends. All right, so The Mitten, it's about this mitten right there. <clears throat> so, once there was a boy named Nicky, and he wanted mittens as white as snow. If you drop a white mitten in the snow, it will be hard to find, his grandmother told him. But Nicky wanted snow white mittens, so his Baba made them for him. Do you, what do you think is going to happen? She might be right. I think he's going to drop it. When she finished knitting, Nicky put on the mittens and went out to play. But it wasn't long before one of his mittens fell off. Can you see it? Right down there, he drops his mitten and he doesn't even know it. Well, a little mole found the mitten and crawled inside. It was just the right size, so he decided to stay. And it's way over there, a little tiny mole crawled into a mitten. That makes sense, right? Well, a rabbit came hopping by and he wiggled it next to the mole. Do you see that? So now there's a rabbit and a mole inside of a mitten. Could a rabbit and a mole fit inside your mitten? Do you think so? I don't know about that. A hedgehog wanted to get warm 
the mole and the rabbit made room for him. <gasps> now there's a hedgehog and a rabbit and a mole, right? Inside a mitten. I don't know about this mitten. The owl didn't want to be left out. So the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog had to move over. The little mitten was getting crowded. Look at that. Do you think that owl can even fit in there? Do you think any more animals can fit inside a mitten that goes on your hand? Let's see. A badger looked out of his house and he saw the mitten and he climbed right in. So now there's going to be a badger, an owl, a rabbit, a hedgehog, and a mole inside the mitten. Who's coming next, do you think? It started to snow. So a fox pushed his way in and the animals all made room for him. Are you kidding me? This is one big stuffed mitten. <gasps> You're not gonna believe it. Then a big bear sniffed the mitten. The animals were packed in tight, but the bear didn't care. Mm -mm. He crawled in anyway. The mitten was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What's in there now? A bear, a fox, a badger, a owl, a hedgehog, a rabbit, and a mole inside a mitten. Oh my goodness. Let's see what happens next. Then a tiny mouse squeezed in. Teeny, teeny mouse squeezed right inside there and perched herself on the big bear's nose. Uh-oh. The mouse's whiskers tickled the bear's nose. Uh, uh, watch out! The bear sneezed and all the animals went flying out of the mitten. Oh my goodness, look at them. Oh, the fox is upside down. The bear is up in the air. Look at the rabbit and the hedgehog and the owl and the mole. Oh, they're all flying, the badger. So crazy. Well, Nikki saw his mitten sail up into the air after the bear sneezed. From the window, Baba watched Nikki catch his mitten. See, Baba, he calls her. I have both my mittens. And Baba smiled. Oh my goodness. This is a very funny ending picture, though. Look at that. Baba's holding his mittens. And one is so much bigger than the other. Now, what could have happened to those mittens? The end. <laughs> Isn't that a crazy story? Isn't that so much fun? I love this book, and Piper loves this book. And um, so there's a really fun way we can play the mitten at home, right? After you read it a lot of times like we do. There's two ways you can do it. If you are a teacher and you have a classroom or you're a librarian and you have a story time, you can get a large blanket and lay it out and fold it kind of in half and let the children pretend to be the animals and let them come snuggling one at a time. Somebody's the mole and somebody's the rabbit and somebody's the, um, the hedgehog and get everybody nice and snuggled in the mint with their heads poking out yeah, and then of course tell everybody that when the bear sneezes, when he goes ah ah chew, uh, have them all slow motion roll out of the mitten while you pull the blanket up. It is really really fun. Piper likes to do that game, and we do it with her and friends. Or if you're at home and you do not have uh, multiple children over, <laughs> you can also grab your stuffed animal. Mm -hmm. and put just the stuffed animals or your child and the stuffed animals. Put down a blanket and have them all come in and snuggle inside, right? Especially if it's just stuffed animals and you've got some space, you can do a big ha 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 choo and float the blanket up into the air and let the animals go flying. Or like I said before, you can have a slow motion, gentle roll out of the sleeping bag or the blanket. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me in the story time. So like I mentioned, in online play school, every Tuesday, you want to just get one story. You want to just get two stories.
You get five stories related to our concept and theme of that week. And then the following week, for the new concepts that we're studying, you get five more stories and five more stories. So for five weeks, you'll end up having 15 books read aloud to you in video. And these videos in Online Play School, once you join us, they are um, you can access them forever. And you'll be able to download them if you'd like to be able to take them with you or just have access to them on the site. So um, Online Play School is, it is currently enrolling. Um, it's still got the early, uh, an early bird special, not the early, early bird special that I had before for $97. Right now it's $70 off for $127 to join us for the five weeks. And plus you get all three of my albums for free if you sign up before the start. Um, so that's it for today. And as usual, if you have any questions, grown ups, feel free to email me, message me on Facebook, um, message me on the various places that I am, Instagram, <laughs> email, and I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be doing um, a quick little sensory activity together that I can show you how we get to explore in and out. And then Thursday, we're gonna have a short, about 10 minute sing along together. All right, and then Friday, snack time. Okay, my friends, thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. And don't forget to post pictures of, um, of your puppets on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash mymissnina. All right, here comes my kiss. Ready? Bye.